I'm Thomas Anderson, Superintendent of East Hartford Public Schools. I appreciate your time for the next five minutes to briefly share a few points about our school district. First, always thank you to our entire East Hartford Public Schools team for their effort to support all areas of our school district and to our compassionate parents who are dedicated to our students' academic growth and overall well-being. Thank you. Over these several months of my transition into our school system, I've learned that we have a tremendous team and I'm thankful for the work they do each day. I appreciate the commitment to the teaching and learning process as there are teachable moments throughout each of our days. I'm excited to update you on our fiscal year 25 budget for next school year. Earlier this month, the town council approved our recommended budget of a little over $102 million for East Hartford Public Schools. This four plus million dollar or 4.5% increase from this year's current budget is the highest in over 10 years and truly represents a strong commitment to the staff and our students and their families in East Hartford Public Schools. In the over hundreds of classes I've had an opportunity to visit so far this year, I can see that this budget is an excellent investment into the teaching and learning process. I've seen quality engagement and can feel the positivity in our classrooms. Students are given the opportunity to express themselves in multiple ways and teachers motivate, provide clarity, and then push students to dig a little bit deeper to challenge their own thinking. This budget approval means we can maintain the services, programming, and opportunities that we know work for our students and prepare them to compete on a global scale. This increase will also help us take care of after school activities, intramural sports at the elementary level, and more. I'm thankful for the support of the Board of Education and the commitment of our mayor, town council, for their work to ensure that we can meet our budget priorities. A health-related reminder, we shared with families earlier this month, we're all still navigating the common cold, the flu, and yes, still COVID. So based on the CDC's update to their COVID-19 recommendations, students are no longer required to remain at home for five days after a COVID illness. The new guideline is that we follow other respiratory viruses and use the symptoms to determine when to return to school. If a student is sick with COVID-19, stay home until you're fever free for 24 hours without the use of medication, which is actually consistent with pre-COVID-19 guidelines. When you have a fever, you should always stay home and wait until you feel well enough to return to school. March welcomes spring, although it doesn't quite feel like it yet, but also celebrates Women's History Month and signifies appreciation for Board of Education members. So again, my thanks to our board members for their continued support and efforts that benefit the East Hartford Public Schools community. East Hartford Public Schools celebrated Down Syndrome Day on March 21st. As a reminder, we celebrate on March 21st each year because people with Down Syndrome have three copies of their 21st chromosome. So across the world, this is celebrated on that day. Because the chromosomes resemble mismatched socks, our students and staff were encouraged to wear colorful socks to create more awareness and show their support. It was great to see the participation from our staff and students. Also, kudos to East Hartford High School for being recognized by the University of Connecticut Early College Experience Program for having the sixth highest enrollment increase this year. This dual enrollment opportunity allows students to take UConn courses to earn high school credit and college credit. East Hartford now proudly offers seven early college courses with 144 students enrolled at least in one of those courses this year. Lastly, our spring athletes are having scrimmages and getting ready to open their seasons with their first games, meets, and matches. Please be sure to visit easthartford.org to visit the calendar for the athletic events for both middle school and high school. We hope you'll come and cheer on our athletes this season. As always, thank you for your support and commitment to the students and staff in East Hartford Public Schools. Thank you.